This week, CNBC came out with its annual Disruptor 50 list of privately held companies that are revolutionizing their industries with innovative new technologies. Now, you know that generally we focus only on public companies here because, after all, the show's about making a better investor in the stock market. Sometimes, though, a private company will have something that's so cutting edge that you absolutely need to know about it ahead of time so you can get a sense of where the entire sector is heading. Which brings me to Intarsia Therapeutics, which made its debut on the CNBC Disruptor list this year at number 29. Intarsia is a biotech that's developed a better way, really better way, to treat diabetes. There's a ton of research showing that less than half of the people who are on medication for diabetes 2 actually stay on those drugs for an entire year, let alone take them consistently, which can cause a host of complications, not to mention the fact that if you don't take the medicine, it doesn't really work. This is a huge problem for our health care system, given the skyrocketing uh, cases of diabetes. I mean, it's an epidemic. But Intarsia has got this cool solution. It's a little two-inch rod that's implanted just under the patient's skin. And this rod will deliver a slow, steady dose of extenatide. And that's a major diabetes type, uh, type 2 drug over the course of an entire year. Oh, man, that is a huge improvement from getting injections once a week, which is the way the drug is currently administered. And a big reason so many people have trouble following through with the course of treatment. Now, Intarsia's formulation is currently in phase three clinical trials, and I think this could be a very intriguing story, one that I bet every major pharmaceutical company covets because it so disrupts their own pipelines. Earlier this week, I got a chance to chat with Kurt Graves. He's the chairman, president, and CEO of Intarsia Therapeutics. Take a look. When I think of certain diseases that are epidemics, okay, and how people don't take care of themselves... I think if there was something out there that could change this, it would be monumental, and it could be yours. It could be, Jim. We're a company that's working on a new category of medicines that we are targeting against chronic major diseases like diabetes and obesity. And what we do differently than other pharma and biotech companies is we converge medicine and technology into once-a-year potential therapies, which is totally breakthrough if we're successful. Now, typically, how many people who get this terrible diagnosis take care of themselves for a little bit and then go off it? That's a really important question, Jim. It's probably one of the biggest problems in major chronic diseases is what we call in the, in the business compliance and adherence with therapy over time. Okay. In diabetes, it's probably one of the biggest challenges, if not the biggest challenge out there. Studies show that 70 to 80 percent of people within one year of starting their diabetes therapy have stopped taking 70 to 80? Within the first so year. So no, not only is it an epidemic, but it's an epidemic that people don't take care of themselves when they get it. It's really tough because most people with diabetes also have hypertension right. and dyslipidemia and obesity. So they're on multiple medications and staying on your regimen plus your diet is really tough for a lot of people. Okay, you're a disruptor. Show me this disruptive device <laughs> and tell me what will happen if people, if this gets broad acceptance. So this particular therapy we're working on will be the first and only once a year treatment for type 2 diabetes. Once a year. So once there's year. enough in there yes. to be able to make it so it's once a year. Yes. And it's in inside. I actually have one placed, not with medicine in it because right. I'm not diabetic. Right. But I wanted to know what it was like for patients because yeah. we have 5,000 patients in studies around the world right now. But yes, our chemists, what's amazing, Jim, is our chemists figured out a way to stabilize drugs at high temperature for years which is like the holy grail of peptide yeah. chemistry. Okay. And then once they did that, we acquired this mini pump technology and made some enhancements to it. And when you put a medicine, what our chemists invented to keep it stable, and you put it inside this little tiny matchstick size mini pump, you can deliver a therapy once a year. Okay, so what's, why isn't this approved now? Because we have to go through a lot of studies. All right, because it's still, we have an FDA, an yes, FDA asks for certain, but yes, I, do. Um, you certainly have had no problems with it inside, right? Well, I'm on a placebo pump just right, because I wanted to Right, but I'm saying that you don't even like. know the difference, right? It's you don't even know. You don't even really know it's there. Okay. But we're, all, we're almost all the way through our studies. So for the last two and a half years, we've been doing studies in 5,000 patients in 500 centers around the world. Our first two studies reported out late last year with great results. And our final two studies will finish this year, and we hope to put our filing into the FDA and the European authorities early next year. And you're not just disruptive in terms of your technique and device. You're disruptive in terms of the way you finance this. You've got a particular kind of a royalty, basically a kind of a bond that converts into stock. And I bet you had a lot of people want to do that because this could be a, a multi-billion dollar drug. Yeah, it's a really innovative financing we just did. Our company actually over the last five years has raised just over a billion dollars. Our most yeah. recent financing, the one you talked about, we completed just over a week ago, was for $225 million. 
And what we did is we raised $225 million in exchange for 1.5% of our future sales between now and 2031. But that company has to sell $15, $20 billion for that pays off. Well, that's just a break even, so the investors think it might do better than But they'd that. rather obviously have, or maybe they can, in the window, they can own stock. That's the key thing, and that's right. what was unique about our deal. There will be a two-year period from the time we're approved to two years post-launch where they can convert into equity at a valuation of $5.5 billion. Well, Kurt, i got to tell you, this is going to upend everything. But that's what a disruptor does. Well, it'll make a big difference for patients, and that's what's most Save important. Save a lot of lives. It will. I hope wow, so. It'll be amazing. Kurt Graves, Chairman, President, CEO of, in, of Intarsia Therapeutics, number 29, the CMC Disruptor 50. And I got to tell you, this turns the whole industry upside down if this gets approved. And it sure sounds like it will. Thank Great you, to meet you, sir. Thank Pleasure you. Being here. Stay Thank with you. Kramer. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.